Today our topic is absolute value equations. So our essential question is how can I solve equations with absolute value? Vocabulary. Absolute value. Distance of a number from zero on the number line. It's a distance which means it has to be positive. All right, so if you look at the number line, the absolute value of negative 5 is the distance from 0 to negative 5. So we jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So that distance is 5 jumps. Absolute value is e equation is an equation containing an absolute value. Simple absolute value equations. Absolute value of x equals 7. So we are to draw a number line and we put 0 in the middle. We want the distance to be 7. So we could jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times to the right and we would end up at 7. So x could be 7. The absolute value of x is 7. Or we could jump 7 times to the left. 1, that would be negative 1. 2, negative 2. 3, and so forth. 4, 5, 6, 7, until we end up at negative 7. So then the absolute value of negative 7 would also be 7. So x could be positive 7 or negative 7. Our second example. The absolute value of x equals negative 15. Well, if you look, negative 15, we're saying an absolute value, a distance, could be negative 15. But it can't be negative. It would have to be positive. So in this case, there is no solution. Solving absolute value equations. So if we look back here at our first example right here, we had the positive case and the negative case. Our answer could be positive 7 or negative 7. So that's going to be how we're going to set up our equations. The absolute value of x minus 3 equals 8. That means this piece in here, x minus 3, could either equal positive 8 or it could equal negative 8. We're going to have to set up two equations, solve them both. Add 3 to both sides to solve for x, we get x equals 11. Then we have to add 3 to both sides on our second equation, and we get x equals negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So our solutions for x are negative 5 and 11. Second example, if we look, we have 3 times the absolute value of 2x minus 7 equals 12. First thing we want to do is get rid of this 3. So this is multiplication, which we can undo with division. So we can divide both sides by 3. We do that, we're left with the absolute value of 2x minus 7 equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now we can set up our two cases. This 2x minus 7, what's inside the absolute value bars, can equal positive 4 or it can equal negative 4. Solve both equations, add 7 on both sides. We get 2x equals 11, divide by 2. x equals 11 over 2. For our second equation, add 7 to both sides. 2x equals negative 4 plus 7 is 3, divide by 2 on both sides. x equals 3 over 2. Write your answer together as x equals 11 over 2, comma 3 over 2.
couple more examples for us. X plus 9 equals 15. Don't need those. We want to set up our two cases. We have what's inside the absolute value bars can be equal to positive 15, or it can be equal to negative 15. Solve both equations. Subtract 9 on both sides. X equals 6. Solve the second equation. Subtract 9 on both sides. X equals negative 24. Write your answer together. X equals 6, comma, negative 24. Second example, 2X minus 7 in absolute value bars, minus 5 equals 4. Again, we just want the absolute value bars on one side of the equation, so we need to start by adding 5 to both sides. Absolute value of 2X minus 7 equals 4 plus 5 is 9. Now we can set up our two cases. What's inside the absolute value bars, 2x minus 7, can equal positive 9. Or 2x minus 7 can equal negative 9. Solve both equations. 4x, add 7 to both sides. 2x equals 16, divide by 2. x equals 8. That's one of our solutions. Solve the other equation. Add 7 to both sides, 2x equals negative 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 1. Write your answers together, x equals negative 1, comma, 8. Decide if an equation has no solution. So if we set this up, we have Absolute value of 3x plus 5 plus 6 equals negative 2. We have to get the absolute value bars by themselves, so we want to undo this plus 6 with a minus 6. We're left with the absolute value of 3x plus 5 equals negative 8. Now this states that this distance, absolute value is a distance, could equal a negative 8. That's not a true statement, which means there is no solution. Absolute deviation. This is the application of absolute value equations. So deviation means different from the norm or expected behavior. So if you do not follow the expectations in the classroom, you are a deviant. You deviated from the expectations. Absolute deviation is equal to the absolute value of x minus your given value or your standard value. It's also sometimes called absolute error. So you might not see it as absolute deviation. You might see it as absolute error. So, question. Before the start of an NBA game, a basketball must be inflated to an air pressure of 8 pounds per square inch. That's your given value. That's your standard. With an absolute error of 0 0.5 pounds per square inch. Find the minimum and maximum acceptable air pressures for the basketball. So first off, we want to set up our equation. Absolute deviation equals the absolute value of x minus your given value. Absolute deviation, or absolute error, was 0 0.5. So we put that in for absolute deviation. Equals your absolute value of x minus your standard, or your given value, which is 8. Now, if you find this setup weird, having the absolute value on the right side, we can flip-flop. That's okay, we can flip it around, make it the absolute value of x minus 8 equals 0 0.5. Then set up your two cases. What's inside the absolute value bars, x minus 8 can equal positive 0 0.5, or it could equal negative 0 0.5. Solve both equations, add 8 to both sides. We get x could equal 8.5. For this second equation, 
add 8 to both sides, and we get x can equal 7.5. We're working in pounds per square inch. So 7.5 would be our minimum value, and 8.5 would be the maximum value. All right, that's all the notes that I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.